Teed it up at the 30-yard line. They are standing outside the goal line right now are the two return men for Nebraska. Grixby is one of those, and uh, Jones, I believe, is the other, and it's going to go to Grixby, and that's out of the end zone. That's a good start. Moves in under center, and they go on the ground on the first play of the game and breaks that one all the way out across the 25 to near the 30-yard line. About the 29. Comes out, this time shows the shotgun. Will throw on second down, does. It's a catch, it's across the 35, it's to the 39-yard line. And that is a Nebraska first down. It comes at 14-22. Arnie just told you that will be his 22nd reception of the season. This time, Keller will go under center. And he hands off to keep it on the ground. The Aggies have that line of scrimmage. They'll mark it back at the 37. Martin Lucky, a second carry. And the tackle made by Henry Smith. Lucky is the lone setback. He is about seven, eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now Keller raises up, says something to his offensive line. They show two tight ends and two flankers left. They're going to throw a screen, make a screen out to the left flats. It's caught by Lucky, gets back to the 40, and it fumbled and out of bounds. But that will be Marquise's 14th tackle of the season. Nebraska coming into the game today, 44% on their third downs. Aggie defense, 47% against the third downs. A throw and an incomplete pass out to the Aggie 40-yard line. Roger Holland is going to return this punt. He was on the radio show on Thursday night, a freshman receiver. Their punter is Dan Titchener. He has 29 kicks, and this one's off the side of his foot. It's not a good one, a 41.2 average. Holland will take it on a bounce at the 20, returns it to the 27, and knocked out of bounds into the Aggie bench here on the near side of the field. And the senior from Burnett, junior two-letter, 6'3", 220, Stephen McGee comes out on the field. He's thrown 175 passes, 97 completions, four interceptions, 1,000. And 39 yards for the year. There's the snap, hands off. It's going to Goodson, and Goodson will look that went the other way on a reverse, going back to Steven. And everybody bought, including your announcer, on Goodson coming this way, and Steven went the other way, and Steven went out of bounds at the 36-yard line. There's second down and a couple for the Aggies at the 36-yard line. They need the 38. Time, 12-30. First period, no score. Shotgun, two running backs either side of McGee. And this time he gives it to Lane, and Lane is wide open at the 50, at the 45. Lowers his head, still not down as he fights for the 42-yard line. From the 36-yard line, we'll carry that one, Dave, all the way to the Nebraska 42, and that went 22 yards. Mark Elder, Wallace, Snyder, and Schumard make up the offensive line. No score, 12.05 to go, first period. The Aggies at the Nebraska 42. McGee went under center, play action, rolls to this side of the field, now throws. It's a catch at the 35, now out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Goes Joy Thomas. I'll be at a second and two a moment ago for the Aggies. This time second down and one. He's moving Goodson from the left side to the right side. He's got a slot both sides of the formation. This time Goodson did get it. He reverses his field going back the other way. Looking for the right corner. Turns it now at the 30. Got a corner block at the 20. And out of bounds inside the 20. They will mark him out at the 19-yard line. 11.43 to go in the first quarter. No score. The Aggies driving now at the Nebraska 19-yard line. Shotgun running back. Jaworski Lane to the left of McGee. And he will fake to uh, Jaworski and keeps and goes to the 15-yard line. Just got four, did McGee. It'll be second down, six coming up. Three wides to the right. And McGee just gave it to Lane. Lane has a first down. He's inside the 10. He's all the way down to the six-yard line. He just carried eight yards. He will flex out here to the left hip of Thomas. There he goes to Lane again, trying to find some running room. He gets across the five to the four. Went over the left side of the line. Kept it just a little bit outside that low hash mark. So he carries for three. And in the shotgun, McGee has the snap. And he just gave it to Lane. Lane fights inside the five. He's down to about the two-yard line. That was second and goal. And now, Dave, it will be a third and goal, your Aggies. Here we go. Third down goal at the two. Left hash mark. Power eye. Here's the handoff. Nope. McGee kept it. He's rolling right. He's looking for the corner. He's going to throw. And it is a touchdown. And that's caught by Irvin Taylor on the end line at the back of the end zone. He leaped up. And it looked like McGee just sort of like a shot put through that into the end zone, and Taylor just caught the touchdown pass, his first of the season. Well, that's why they called it an option rollout pass, because Stephen heading toward the pylon, he has the defenders come up. Irvin Taylor's on the back back uh, end line, 
and they can't do both. They can't stop Steven and cover Irvin Taylor, so it's an easy touchdown, two-yard reception for Irvin Taylor. The Ags take the early lead. Zemanski now on his extra point. He's perfect this season, 25 out of 25. It is blocked. With 9.17 left to play in the first quarter, nine plays, 72 yards. Javorski Lane carried on four of those plays, 9.17 to play. The Aggies lead at six to nothing. Hey, Shining is having someone you can depend on. Blue Cross, Blue Shield of Texas, shining through. Dave, back to you. Panhams kickoff again is going to go into the end zone, and they will let that one hit. And now rolls out of the end zone. So Nebraska, for a second time, Dave, will start first down and 10 at their 20-yard line. Offset eye. And they'll hand off. It's lucky. He's coming to the right side. Turns the corner at the 20 out to the 25, 26-yard line. Goes down there. A six-yard pickup by Lucky. And by Byford, Hickman. Also Jones, Nix, and Williams in their offensive front. Here's the snap. They're going to throw. And that is a oh, great catch across the 30 to the 33-yard line. A 15 to go on the first. The Aggies have a 6-0 lead. Missed the extra point. It was blocked. Here is a first down and 10 at the 34. It's a draw. Out across the 45 to the 47-yard line. And the ball out now to the Nebraska 47, first down and 10. They're going to throw a screen to the right side. Caught behind the line across the 40, across the 50, and now the 45 and out of bounds at the Aggie 40-and-a-half-yard line. First down and 10, time 7-48. Aggies lead 6-0. Move a wide out here, a split into the right side. Now they're moving another man in that direction. They put him in motion just before it was snapped and the handoff to Lucky. He turns the right corner and crosses the 40 and goes to the Aggie 38-yard line. Marlon Lucky, by the way, rushed the ball 30 times in their Nevada game, which was their season opener, and ran for 233 yards. He's the eye back again. He pump fakes now to Keller. Middle screen is caught. That's Hill. Hill will get it out across the 30 and now down to the Aggie 26. The guy's got 30 career starts. They are moving three receivers. They had in a trips formation on the left side all of a sudden to the right, which was the open. And they're going to do an end around. It's coming back the other side of the field at the 20, at the 15, at the 10. Out of bounds, they will roll at about the seven-yard line. That developed nicely. The double reverse. They came back right, and then they went back the other way to the left. Here's the handoff. They try the left side, bouncing off touchdown. Quentin Castile gets it in from about the three-yard line. Alex Hendry is their extra point guy. He's 22 of 22 for the year. Not a lot of work the last two games. It is up, and it is good. They are approaching the ball, and here we go. Brown and Franks are back, and Pierre will watch that one go over his shoulder and kick out of the back of the end zone. Hit about the middle part of the end zone. That's a great kick into that wind. Nebraska did not, but on their second possession, the Huskers did. So six and a half to go in the first quarter, and the Huskers lead your Aggies seven to six. Here comes the offense back out on the field. And it's an eye with McGee moving under center. Alexander's the fullback. Goodson is the tailback. Long snap count. Going to start the option. Nope, drops back, wants to throw. Sets up at the 13, throws. It's a catch, and it's across the 40 and out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Pierre Brown just caught it. Michael Corey in the lineup now for AM. We've got a slot to the left. The man to his right, the slot guy, is Taylor, who has the Aggie touchdown reception. Here's the option coming back to the left side. McGee keeps. McGee hits the line of scrimmage and got a yard more. From the, they got a couple of yards, but they're going to mark that at about the 43. So picked up two, second down and eight coming up. Now the Aggies have it a second down and about eight from the AM 43 yard line. They need the Nebraska 49 shotgun for McGee. Running backs either side will throw out to the right side. A catch at the 49 of Nebraska it will be close for a first down. It's caught by Pierre Brown, so his second reception. On this possession, that's going to go right at about eight yards. They're going to miss the first down day by about the length of the football. Here's the third down and very short for Texas A&M. Single setback. McGee is going to sneak for it. They're going to give it to him. He fought his way across the 49. He goes to the Nebraska 48 and a half. So a first down for Texas A&M, Dave. And now it's fourth and very, very short. Single setback, Goodson. McGee will sneak again, and he is still trying to get across we got the plenty. line of scrimmage. It looks like this time they're going to mark it where I had it last time at the 48 and a <laughs> half. Second possession, A&M. Shankel goes way out to the right side. Two wides here on the left are Taylor and Frank. Single setback is Goodson. 
McGee fakes to him. McGee keeps around the left side. He's running for his life as he crosses the 45, gets to the 43, and we've got a flag down inside the 40-yard line. That's going to go six yards. McGee tackled and brought down at the Nebraska 43-yard line. That's going to be holding on A&M. Flag came from back in the Nebraska secondary. Irvin Taylor got caught on the hold. 424 to go. First quarter, 7-6. Nebraska shotgun again, and McGee just gave it to Lane. Lane, good hole right side. He knocked down at the 45-yard line. Today rushing the ball, 12 carries, 69 yards. Here's a second down. McGee fakes to Lane. Throws now here on the right flats. That is caught by Thomas. Missed a head tackle there. Eluded that man and steps out of bounds across the 40 at the 36-yard line. If that's still Joey Thomas over there on the right side, it is. Ags go with Thomas over there and a split into the left. Here's McGee rolling right. He might want to throw. No, he's going to keep it around the corner, and he may. He's going to fight for the first down. Didn't quite get there as he crosses the 30 and actually stepped out at the 29-yard line. Shotgun, two halfbacks. Lane on the left. Goodson on the right. McGee has the snap. Just fake to Lane, sets up, going to throw out here to the left side, caught by Goodson, crosses the line of scrimmage, the 29, knocked out of bounds at the 27, hit there and knocked out by Lance Brandenburg. Third down and a little bit more than a yard, and a shotgun for McGee. Trips to the right side, they just break that little pyramid, and they put Thomas in motion back to the left. They will fake the Lane, and now carried by McGee, and McGee's got the first down. He's knocked out at the 21-yard line. Tight end left side's... Joy Thomas flexed out to his left as Taylor split in right. Eye formation under center. Play action by McGee on a fake to Lane. Forced out of the pocket, rolling right. He's looking to the end zone. He's going to have to run with it, and he is going to go out of bounds inside the Nebraska 15 at the 13-yard line. Nebraska leads 7-6. to six. We've got 3 minutes, 7 seconds to go in the first quarter. And for the Ags now, got Keandra Smith as a halfback. Fake by McGee. McGee keeps after the fake. Crosses the 10. Knocked down at the 9-yard line. Picked up and driven back. And he got the first down. Shotgun. Keandra Smith stays in as the left half. Lane is the right half. Keandra Smith goes in motion to the short side. And McGee will keep on a straight snap back to him. Goes to the 6-yard line. And a nice open field tackle there. 4-yard gain. Huskers lead 7-6. Second and goal, 6.5. Again, it'll be Goodson on the right side and Lane on the left. Play action, throw to the end zone, and it is almost picked off. Key is in the lineup. Joy Thomas in the lineup. Those are the two tight ends. Alexander will be the fullback. McGee play action. McGee looking end zone again. He's all the way back to the 15. Throws incomplete. Only a receiver there was Key, and what do we have? Well, what they wanted, Dave, was the middle screen. got a screen. flag down in the end zone. They wanted a middle screen to Dvorsky. It's against A&M. And uh, it was covered, so he had to just throw this one away. I wonder if they're going to – I don't know what they're going to call. It's holding on Texas A&M. Already seeing the Nebraska players celebrating there. That stops the clock, 145 to go in the first quarter. If I'm Nebraska, I think I'd decline this and make the Aggies attempt a field goal. Ball went incomplete, Pass David, about the two. Number 98 of the offense. Oh, pass interference. The penalty is 15 yards and replay third down. Down to six on the play clock. He's down to four. Had to call timeout. He looked up and saw the play clock. A&M now 15 plays and 59 yards on this possession. Third down goal, 21 and a half. Shotgun, and again the two halfbacks. McGee steps up, hit as he throws. It's incomplete at the 21. He was throwing it out into the left side to Goodson. This is from the 29, Tom Turbyville. All right, here's the snap, the hole. Here's the kick by Zemanski. It's got plenty of leg, and it's going to be good. Go. So after missing a couple of left last week, that's got to make him feel good. He hits from 39 yards out, and the Aggies, a new score. They take the lead as Texas A&M 9 and Nebraska 7. And all the scoring here has come in this first quarter with a minute 35 to go. Here's the kickoff by Zemanski. And that one will go again out of the end zone. So not a... They have it first down and 10 at their 20. Again, we're looking at 9-7 Texas A&M lead with a minute 35 to go in the first quarter. 
And under center will go Keller. Going to throw a screen out here to the right side. A catch. Develop that from the 20 to the 26-yard line. Offset eye. Keller looking things over. The linebackers are Toupee and Dodge. There's the snap. It's a handoff, and they draw, and they break that one out across the 30. But for Franz Hardy, it is a carry in 19. Marlon Lucky is four carries and 16 yards. Here's the first down play, and it's again on the ground. Castile, good yardage out across the 40 and out of the 40. Two-yard line, maybe the 41 and a half. It's going to be close for the first down. That- Alton Dixon's over on the right side of the secondary. Also is Marquise Carpenter. Markeith Brown's in the lineup. There's Jordan Pugh. Here's the snap. Once more on the ground, and uh, there is a fumble. fumble. A flag down. How A&M has recovered it. But let's see the meaning of the flag. And I it- think it's a hold, Dave. I think the Aggies are going to maintain this. Harrington possession. fell on it at the 43-yard line of Nebraska. Oh, 67 yes, of the it's a hold against Nebraska and a fumble then by Nebraska and recovered by Harrington. First down and 10, Texas A&M. Nebraska 43, play action by McGee, sets the pocket at the 50, throws here to this side and nobody close. And Steven was expecting him to be out there and he wasn't and we've come to the end of the first quarter. In a shotgun, McGee. Halfback goes set left to right, and the halfback just got it, and that's Goodson, and they've got him around the ankles, and that's a loss behind the line back to the 45-yard line. Still Clark, Elder, Wallace, Schneider, and Schumard in the offensive front for Texas A&M. Third down and about 12, ball at the Husker 45. has been snapped. He was under center. Now he's forced out of the pocket. He'll have to throw it away. They blitz. Yep, they blitzed from the left side. A lot of pressure applied by Anthony West, and McGee just dumped it off here in the flats on the right goes in complete. Intentional grounding by yeah. number seven of the offense. Mm. It's a spot foul, loss of down. That's Hunter Tifa Tiller. Very high kick. Oh. And it's going to take a bounce against Texas A&M. Hit about the 40 into that win. And then it bounced back north, and the Aggies had to kill it because it was going to go back across midfield, and that one will be killed at the 45, and that is a 9-yard, no, make it a 10-yard punt. At their own 45, 14.05 to go second period. The Aggies lead 9-7. to seven. It's play action by Keller. He's going to throw. He's got a man. It's high, and it's incomplete at the Aggie 35. So second down 10. Nebraska again at their 45-yard line. Stop the clock at exactly 14 minutes. And a draw again. It's lucky. Went right, went back left, crosses the 45, goes to the 47. He got just two yards. On their third downs today, Nebraska 0 of 1. There's the snap. He was in a shotgun. Drops back across the 40, steps up, throws, and it's in and out of the hands of Dodge. Dodge. Had it and dropped it. They have kicked one time today for 40. This is Titchener. 29 kicks, 41-2 into the ball game, and a long of 51. The wind is at his back. Roger Holland, who was on the radio show with us on Thursday night, is waiting for this one. And that one will hit, take a big bounce, and all that's going to be inside the 10. That's going to be right about the 9-yard line where that thing hit out of bounds at the 9. McGee will stand at the AM 4 to take the snap. Just off his left hip is Jaborski Lane. Has it, and he keeps it after a fake to Lane, crosses the 10, goes to the 15-yard line. A pickup there of six, second down four coming up from the AM 15. The carry by McGee, the tackle by Ben Eisenhart. He is from Culberson, Nebraska. At the 15, Texas A&M shotgun, and again the two halfbacks. McGee steps back, throws a catch to Franks across the 20 and out of bounds, push there to the out of bounds. At the 24-yard line, and he was hit by Armando Armillo, and that one will go nine yards. Hope you enjoy the game, Kathy. Here's the snap on first down and 10. They run the option to the right side. The pitch goes to Goodson. Goodson to the 25 and close to the 30-yard line. Where did he step out? The official coming up, and we'll mark it at the 29-yard line. McGee in the shotgun, two wides to the left. And he fakes to a lane, cuts out to the left side, crosses the 30 to the 35-yard line to maybe the 37. McGee's got an Aggie first down. Lee Grimes is in the offensive line right now for Texas A&M, 6'6", 339. Sophomore squadsman from Brownwood, first down and 10. The Ags at their 37-yard line. McGee throws a little high and in and out of the hands of Kerry Franks. Really tattooed by Murillo as he had the ball trying to bring it down. It's an incomplete pass. Corey is on the top side, short side of the formation. 
The snap. McGee fakes a handoff, sets up to throw. He will, and he throws incomplete at the 40-yard line to Joy Thomas. That was going to be far shy of a first down. A lot of pressure applied that time by Barry Turner. About to be snapped. A shotgun by himself. Here's a screen, and it is on the left side. And well read. Dropped at the 35 on a catch by Taylor. They gave Brantley credit for a punt for eight yards on his first one. This is his second. Line of scrimmage again is the 35. It's a better punt. It's twisting like a tornado in the wind. It's caught back and then dropped, and the Aggies have it at the Nebraska 28-yard line. Nate Swift dropped it, and we're trying to get the man that recovered it. I think it's Gabus, the deep snapper. Dropped it. Aggies recovered it. Gabus at the 28-yard line. First down and 10, 10, 50 to go until halftime and in 9 to 7. They give it to Lane. Lane, big hole across the 25, 20, 15. He's at the 10. Stiff arms a man at the 5, and he falls out of bounds at the half-yard mark. Inside the one-yard line. What a great run by Jaborski. Straight handoff right up the middle. Then he bounced, broke a tackle, bounced out to the right side, carried two tacklers almost to the pie line. It is inches away from the goal line, a 27-yard carry. Cody Wallace out over the ball. The power eye, they'll break it. Putting a man in motion, it goes to Javorski Lane, and he just got himself a touchdown. Straight dive. Javorski Lane well into the end zone with the touchdown, and the Aggies will take a 15-7 lead with the extra point to come. And for the J-Train, that will be his 40th career rushing touchdown. That is his 41st career touchdown. And that will be number 13 on the season for Javorski Lane. And now the extra point. Flags. Well, it's not time. There's plenty of time left on the play clock. Illegal substitution on the defense. There's 12 players on the field. Oh. The penalty's half the distance to the goal on the try. Ooh, we've had a miss already. This moves at half the distance. You'd be a yard and a half out. Do you consider going for two? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Right now, 15 to 7 at 10:38. Aggies declined the penalty. Okay. Now Zamansky with the extra point out of Sanders' hole. It's down, it's up, and it's good. Now A&M has taken a 16-7 lead. Franz Hardy is back there. Hardy's the low man. And this is going to be returned by Jones from the 5 to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, out to the 33, and maybe the 34-yard line. Nice little return, most of that on that far sideline. And there is Keller under center. And he just handed off to tackle and got two from the 35 to the 37-yard line. Second down, eight coming up for the Husker offense. Nebraska at their own 37. The clock now under 10 minutes in the second quarter. They have motion from a man split out to the left to throw out in the flats, threw it low at the 40-yard line. a has got the better end of the scoreboard at 16-7, 9.51. Shotgun, Keller drops back to the 30, steps up, throws, and that's a catch across the Aggie, 45 to the 42-yard line. Swift just got his uh, second catch of the day. He is now two catches, 27 yards. Hill is two for 26. Motion, man going right to left. Shotgun again for Keller. Drops back to midfield, steps up, throws a bomb. And it is just out of the reach at the 10-yard line of Nate Swift. He was running the low side of hash mark. Drew coverage from Alton Dixon. Lucas Patterson's in the offensive uh, defensive line right now for Texas A&M. So is Hurd. Obazor is there. Here's the play. They'll throw it. It's a catch. It's across the... Say he was down. He was across the 40. And they're going to... The 38-yard line. That was third down uh, from the 42. And now it's at the Aggie 38-yard line. And not allowing the receiver to hang on to that football. Franz Hardy goes way out to the right side. They have two men here on the left side. That's the open side of the formation. Half back to his right. Keller drops back, throws from the 49, a catch to Lucky. Lucky across the 35, did not pick up the first down. Matter of fact, at the 35s where they'll spot him out of bounds. Pash mark right side. They break the huddle. Ags lead 16 to 7. AM one of one on fourths. This will be the first try for Nebraska. The snap drops back to his 41, steps up, throws incomplete at the 30 yard line. Here are the Aggies. They've got it first down and 10 at their own 35-yard line. 
And it's play action. And now running the option to the left side as a flag goes down as McGee got uh, two to the 37-yard line. As he's being tackled, he is brought down, and I think it's a hold. It will be. Against Texas A&M. Holding. Number 98 on the offense. Penalty is 10 yards. Andrew and Key. Nebraska 27 plays and 158. Three wides to the right, running back to the left. Flags, I think we jumped. They're going to kill the play. Either that or contact was made. I think contact. I didn't see anybody on our side move, but I could. I might have missed it. Three officials are talking right now, and then one of them is going to tell Cooper Castleberry which one of those three decided what happened. Here's Cooper down on the field, our referee. Offsides on the defense, number 93. Okay. There was contact with an offensive lineman. Penalty's five yards, and it's still first down. First down and about 13 for AM. The ball at the 32. McGee rolls right. McGee's going to throw, and that was almost intercepted at the 37-yard line by Zachary Bowman. He dove in front of the intended receiver. The Aggies with the ball at about their 32-yard line. They need to get it to their 45 Play action by McGee, and he's been sacked and a man coming wide open on the defensive left side dropped back inside the 25 at the 23-yard line. That That's a loss that, of seven. Came with that blitz from that uh, from the defensive left side from Stevens' right side. Right, 7.27 to go, clock working, 16 to 7 A&M. There's the snap. McGee started to hand off and then decided to keep it. And none of that materialized, and he was dropped at the 25 after a yard gained. And now the kick, wobbly, going to hit at the Nebraska 45. It's going to take an Aggie roll. It's inside the 30. It's inside the 25. It's still rolling. It's still rolling, and it's going to be killed right at the 20-yard line. <laughs> they say it was 54 yards now, 54 on his punt. Here's first down on the ground, left side. Out to the 24-yard line. Not a whole lot there for Roy Helu. He is from shallow water. Man in motion going back is Tifa Tiller. There's the shovel pass. That's lucky to the 30. He's out to the 34-yard line. First down, Nebraska. Under center will go Keller. He just put Phillips in motion. They're going to pitch it. They'll go back to the right side. Helu turns the corner. He's going to be close for a first down. Did he step out of bounds? He did. High formation for Sam Keller and the offense of Nebraska. Split in left. He's not very far out there. Tight end was to the right side. On the ground. They turn the corner at the 50. Lowers his head to the 44-yard line. Maybe the 43. Ball spotted at about the Aggie. 43 and a half. There's the pitch. They're turning to the right side. Oh, what a nice hit behind the line. And driving him backwards will be Matt Featherston, the linebacker for the Aggies. That was Halo again on the carry. Your Aggies are two out of seven. Both teams having trouble with their thirds, but the Aggies on the scoreboard. We've got, I think, timeout has been called by Nebraska. That will be the call. Keller with three wides to the open side. That's to the left. And he wants to throw, and they will. To Lucky, he was almost knocked down. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25. He's cutting it back to this side of the field. He's at the 21 on his back now and bringing him down at about the 18-yard line, Jordan Pugh. We'll check Lucky here in a minute as soon as they update the uh, stats. And it will be a handoff. That's Castile at the 15, still fighting, trying to get to the 10-yard line. He's going to be shy of the 10. Ashmark left side, single setback again is Lucky. And Lucky just got it. He hit one of his own men, and he went down at the 10-yard line. Another great play by Mark Dodge. The reason he hit his own man is because the lead blocker was stuffed in the hole by Mark Dodge. Has run 35 plays, and they have 227 yards. A third down and a couple at the 10 for the Huskers. And a shotgun for Keller, their quarterback. Time to throw. He will. He's going in zone, and it is a catch for a touchdown. And now the extra point is on its way. And we are awaiting Nebraska's kickoff. Aggies with two deep, both standing at about the one. And that's going to go over the head of Kerry Franks and out of the back of the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. At their 20, up by two now, 16 to 14. McGee keeps after a fake. He's hit, dropped at the 20-yard line. He's the flanker and the split end. It's Kerry Franks. There's the snap. 
McGee again will keep. He's got five. He's got close to ten. He's got 11 yards. He just got it out across the 30 to the 31-yard line. He went right behind Cody Wallace, and the two ran right on that bottom side of Ashmark to pick up the first down. McGee will go under center. Single setback. Play action. Rolling right. Under pressure. Throws. Has a man off the hands of Thomas at the 35-yard line. The Aggies again at their 31-yard line. McGee in the shotgun. Goodson to his left. Under pressure. Throws off the hands of the intended receiver, E.J. Schenkel, at the line of scrimmage and then hit and knocked down as he is delivering the ball. They need the A&M 41-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31. Aggies have run 45 plays today. 207 yards. The option, they throw it out to the left side. Here's Goodson at the 30, at the 33. Wrapped up and brought down at the 34. Fourth down, punt time, the Aggies. And it's Andre Jones standing at the Nebraska 30. Brantley will kick. Brantley today has three kicks and a 33-yard average. Nebraska's punted twice for a 42. He's kicking into the win. It's a good snap, about waist high. Oh, he's boomed this one. It's a nice one. Here's Jones calling for a fair catch, and he will at the 20-yard line. Nebraska's got a minute to go, and they have it first down and 10 at their 20. Fakes a screen, looking for the middle screen. It's not there, and he just threw the ball away into the turf at the feet of the intended receiver, Sean Hill, who was standing back inside the 20 at about the 18. Shotgun this time for Keller. Drops all the way back to the 11, dances a little bit, now rolls right, throws. Lucky the catch at the 25, now to the 26-yard line. Spilled and knocked down by Marquise Carpenter. Young man from Florida. Another tackle here, and that is at the 26. That's not enough for a first down. It's third down, four coming up. Clock rolling, got 30 seconds to go. In the shotgun again, will throw on third. Here's a throw, and that's a catch. They'll stop the clock as it's caught at the 43. First down, reception made by Nunn. Pugh made the tackle, got 24 seconds to go, and the ball out to the Nebraska 43-yard line. Clock rolling now from the 22nd mark. Keller, time, throws, incomplete. Second down, 10, 15 seconds to go. The line of scrimmage, the 43, plenty of time for Keller to throw. He will to the sideline, and Lucky will step out of bounds after he makes the catch at the 45. Will go out outside the 45 at the 47-yard line. So near midfield, that stops the clock. Nine seconds until halftime. Michael Bennett's also out there right now. And uh, we got an illegal procedure, apparently, against Nebraska. Yep. That was third down and six. Be third down and 11. On the right guard of the offense. Penalty is five yards, and it's still third down. Third down and about 11. Move back to the 42. Here is a shovel pass. It's caught at the 45, at the 50. Two seconds to go at midfield, and now across the 45 to the 40. Time has run out. That was a shovel pass to Lucky. Lucky knocked out at the Aggie 37-yard line. 20 yards, but that's the half. Boy, Keller was hammered by Chris Harrington on that play. Don't know how he got this one off, but we'll go to halftime at the with the score of the Aggies 16 and the Cornhuskers 14. Turn men for the Aggies standing back at the one yard line. Nobody's had a chance with a wind at the back of the kickers to return anything today. And this one won't be returned. First play, second half. McKee and a, a shotgun. Throws out to the right side. Caught at the 25 by Brown across the 30 to about the 33 yard line. All by himself here on the right side near the sideline. Into the ball game, he had caught eight for 84 and an average of 10.5 per catch. 14 on that one at the 34-yard line. First down and 10, the Aggies lead. 16-14, play action. And keeping the ball will be McGee to the 39-yard line. He picks up five. Going to split Thomas out here. Actually, he's a flanker. And into his right is Schenkel. Second down and about five, the Aggies. Goodson to the right of McGee. Starts the option. He will turn the corner. Started the pitch. He won't do it. He gets to the 40-yard line. Got a yard, and that's it. Shotgun McGee at the 40. Low snap. McGee fakes, carries. He's across the 45. He's got a first down to the Aggie 47-yard line. First down's now the Aggies 14, Nebraska 16. Two halfbacks, shotgun McGee. And again, he fakes to Lane, and he keeps it and carries it to the 48. He got a yard. That's McGee on the carry. It's down to five. It's down to four. Yeah, he should. 
Snapped it at one. McGee will throw. He will, and it's out of the reach of Taylor at the 35-yard line. Nebraska's side of the 50. Nebraska's five out of eight. Third down, nine. Ball at the Aggie, 47. McGee fakes to Keandra. He's got a first down and a bunch more. He's across the 40 to the 35, maybe the 36-yard line. Now the 33-yard line as he's rolled down at the 33, McGee. At the 33, it's first down and 10, Texas A&M. This time he gave up the lane, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. Let's see where they'll mark this one. They've done such a good job with the zone read, faking it to Javorski and having Steven keep it. When they do hand it to Javorski Lane, it's a surprise, and Javorski untouched that time. He'll go 31 yards down to the just inside the Nebraska three-yard line where it'll be first and goal. At the two-and-a-half, a shotgun, two tights. Key on one side, Thomas on the other. And McGee will now pitch to Lane. He'll go in untouched. A late hit right there on the sideline. They knocked uh, no flag. Lane into the photographers and the Aggie L leaders, but a touchdown for Texas A&M and Javorski Lane. Well, what a great way to start the third quarter. They take the, the Aggies take the opening kickoff Man. and move it 80 yards for the touchdown. It's his second TD of the day. That'll give him now 14 for the year. His career touchdowns have now gone to 42, and his rushing touchdowns up to 41. Here's the extra point. And it's on its way. And it's good. So Texas A&M now takes that drive, and Tom will recap in a moment, but it was an 80-yarder. And at 11.05 to go here in the third quarter, the Aggies have just made it 23-14 to over Nebraska. And uh, total touchdowns, and 21 of those now have gone on drives of more than 50 yards. And now the kickoff. They'll have a chance to return this from the 15. It's Jones to the 20. Broke a tackle 30. Broke another tackle 35, 36, 37. High formation for the Huskers. Keller's under center. And he just gave it to the tailback. That's Castile across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Just handed a note from Brad Marquardt. McGee now has 24 carries and 92 yards. I'll finish that here in a moment. Here's the pitch. They're going wide to the right side. Nice hole, 50. Now into Aggie territory, 48 carried by Halu. First down and 10 now. And we have a note here on lane from Brad as well. First down for the Huskers. That's their 17th. High snap in the shotgun under pressure, throwing it. Got rid of it at the last moment. Where's the flag? There's nobody near it. Under center. Gave it to the tailback, Castile, to the 45-yard line. Maybe the 44. Third down, and it is a long four. In the shotgun, Keller, middle pressure, steps up, throws. Nobody close to it when he let go of it. All right, here's the punt. Holland will stand at the 10-yard line. They are kicking with the wind at their back. And this is Dan Titchener. High kick, calling for a fair kick. Uh, Holland, Holland will watch that one hit at the one-yard line over his head. He was trying to put a little decoy on there. 43-yard kick. Bring it out to the 20. Yeah. First down and 10, the Aggies at the 20. 23-14, Texas A&M, 9 5 third quarter. Play action by McGee, rolls right, looking to throw, coming right up to the line. Now he'll run to the 25, to the 30, and he is out of bounds. That, there's a late That'll hit. be 15 and more. At the 32-yard line. Wasn't a hard hit. But McEwen did indeed push McGee once they were into the Aggie bench, well inside that little white area that they have marked off in front of the bench that the team's supposed to stand behind. All right, so a 15-yard penalty will be tacked on after the run, which was 13 plus 15, so turns out to be a 28-yard net gain there across the 45 to the Aggie 48-yard line. 8.58 to go in the third quarter. AM 23, the Huskers 14. Tied in on the right side, tied in left side, two flankers. Single setback, and it's actually in the shotgun. He'll be a halfback. Lane will move from the right side to the left side, and he just gave it to Lane, and Lane hits the left. He has got a man wrapped up with him to the 50. He got 25-105 right now. Goodson 4 for 22, but again, Lane 10 for 105. Aggie offense now just above 300 yards. 57 plays, 305 total offense. 
Second down play. McGee fakes, carries 45-40 to the 38-yard line. And boy, he went down hard. You can see his helmet hit that turf and bounce up. Shotgun. McGee keeps after a fake and gets back to the line. Ball almost in the middle of the field. Shotgun. Two halfbacks. And McGee keeps. Now he pitches out here to this side. That is Keandra Smith, and he will get oh, three yards to the thir- uh, 35-yard line. And that was those were tough yards. Third downs today. The Aggies four out of ten. This will be the sixth play of this possession. McGee wants to throw. He does. It's Lane at the 30. Lane pushed back to the 31, but they're going to give him forward progress to the 30. That's not enough for a first down. Clock now under six. Shotgun. McGee. McGee will keep. McGee. First down. He's across the 25 to the 23-yard line. They've run seven plays, 56 yards to this point on this possession. First down and 10, the Husker 24-yard line. Two halfbacks, slot right, split into the left. They gave it to Goodson, sprinting out left side, turns the corner, knocked out of bounds across the 20. I think they might give him the 19. It's an eye formation. Tie it in on the left side. It's a flank to the right and here is the carry and that will go to Cornell Tarrant who's in there and he carries for the first down across the 15 to the 13 yard line first down and 10 the Husker 13 yard line Ag's about to run their 10th play they've run 9 plays gone 67 yards on this possession to this point here's the first down and McGee fakes carries 10-5 they're going to get him before he gets into the end zone dragging him down as he goes out of bounds at the 4 so here we go with a second down and one. That power eye, they put a man in motion. They give it to uh, Lane. Lane fighting for the end zone, back and in, and he is in. Touchdown, Javorski Lane. Four yards out. Big, big drive for the Aggies. Just turned his back and just kept pumping, and he got it in. That's Javorski's third touchdown of the day. If you're counting along with us, that's 42 career rushing touchdowns, 43 total touchdowns. And he got that one from about three yards out, didn't he, Dave? Four. Four yards out on lane. Zamanski on the point after to try to make it 30. And he did. All right, 30 to 14 with 429 remaining in the third quarter. The Aggies have the lead. And him ready to kick off. Here's Zemanski. This one will be returned. And it will be Jones again. Out to the 25. Bounces off there. And now Featherston's on his back at the 24-yard line. where they probably are going to spot him. And now they keep backing up here at the 23 is where they're going to give him his forward progress after he had gotten an update pretty close to the 25 then made a little retreat there and then Featherston jumped on his back so it's first down and 10 for the Huskers Kansas next week at home for your Ags it'll be a 6 o'clock kick first down and 10 play action here by Keller they've thrown a screen to Lucky he's got it out to the 30 yard line the line of scrimmage again was the 24 second down and need about 4 wants to throw Keller will man wide open at the 35 and upended at the 37-yard line, caught by Hill, tackled by Carpenter. First down, Nebraska, 339, third quarter. Aggies lead 30-14. to 14. Slot to the right, top man there is Dan Erickson. Single setback, and he's flexed out to the left side. There's the shovel pass. It goes to Lucky, 40-45. Uses a hand to push himself out to the 47, maybe the 48. That's a first down. Lucky had a rushing day of 233 yards against Nevada in the Huskers' opening game this year. The total is 12th best in school history. Nebraska had a 294-yard day by a running back, Calvin Jones, in 91. Wants to throw on first down and 10. That is incomplete at the Aggie 35-yard line. That was intended for Franz Hardy. He's got three today. Second down, 10 coming up. 2.57 to go. Aggies lead 30-14, third quarter. Pitch left side, turn in the corner at the 50-45, and into the sideline will go Halo, pushed out by Alton Dixon. Here's the first down and 10 at the Aggie 40. Man in motion going 
Left to right, play action by Keller. He is about to throw, and he is hit from the backside, and that is a sack back at the 45-yard line. And that was Alton Dixon. He never saw him coming. This is going to be the seventh play of this possession. They're going to throw a screen again. It's a catch, and out to the 42-yard line will go Helu, or down to the 42, and they got just about three yards on that one, Dave. He is the split end. The flanker is Nate Swift. That's the open side. There's the snap on third down. A throw, and it is... What? Oh, he called that a catch? Wait a minute. Said it's a catch at the 27-yard line. I'd like to see this one on the replay. Well, let's see if we get a chance to look at it. This might be reviewed. It is a catch, and right now that's a first down. And, Dave, you can see it. They're about to replay it. It looked like he came down out of bounds. First down and 10. Didn't see a whole lot of complaining now from the Aggie bench. So. Did I. All right, here's the throw, and it is caught at the 17. Knocked down at the 14-yard line. Tupe to knock down Nate Swift. Bottom hash mark as we look at it. Lucky is back in at the I-back position. He will stand back at the a 22 line of scrimmage, the 14. Here's a first down carry to Lucky. Danced right, turns to the left, and gets to the 11 and a half. Shotgun, and Lucky will stand to the left of Keller. It's a second down and about eight. Keller wants to throw. He will. It's caught at the seven. Not enough for a first down. The ball caught that time by Dan Erickson. That's his fifth reception of the season, his first today. They are six out of ten on their thirds. The six and a half. Keller's rolling right. He is looking to run. He is going to be forced out of bounds at the ten. And a loss of about three, and he is a little slow in getting up. Open sides to the left. They're putting three men in that direction. Split in right, half back to the right in the shotgun. Pressure up the middle. Look at end zone. And it's tapped up in the air and incomplete. So that stalled out, Dave, and that hurt their effort. 30-14, to 14, the Aggies take over, 14-50. McGee fakes and carries. He is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe to the 10. The line of scrimmage was marked as the 9. Here's a second down and 9. Throw. Caught at the 15 and down at the 15. Think there we go. Third down. The Aggies lead 30 to 14. 13 29. Eye formation. Goodson got it. He was the tailback. He is trying to get a first down. I don't think he made it. He did not to the 18. They needed the 19 yard line. So fourth down and a yard. Has a good snap. Oh, man, he hit this one. Backing up, still backing up, and making a catch at the 25, dropping back to the 21. Here comes the return back to the 30. Back to the 35, now the 36, 37-yard line, and then push back inside the 35. Again, our game 30-14, Texas A&M, 12 to go in this one. Texas beat Baylor 31-10. Oklahoma beat Iowa State 17-7. Here's the play down on the field on first down and 10 at the 37. They'll throw it. Lucky will catch across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Lucas Patterson made that stop. The freshman redshirt from Kingsville. 15 tackles into the game today with one sack. Keller wants to throw from the 32. Steps up, batted up in the air. I think it really came off the hands of the receiver. Lucky, and he had been wrapped up there by... Well, Harrington was one of those that had him. Huff, Hickman, Slauson, Murpha, and Nix. All right, the offensive line, throwing the ball, Lucky, a little low around his knees, dropped the ball at the 44-yard line. McGee's 30 carries for 133 yards, a school record for carries by a quarterback. The old record by David Walker, 27, against SMU in 1977. That held up for about 30 years, didn't it? Here's fourth down and a punt. Pretty good punt into the wind. Holland going to try to return it. First man missed him. He's at the 20, spins to the 24-yard line. First down and 10, the Aggies. They lead it 30-14, to 11 remaining in this game. And the Aggies are at their 24-yard line. They put Joy Thomas in motion. McGee fakes and carries to the 30, and he'll step out of bounds at the 33-yard line here right in front of us, the Aggie side of the field. And it goes to the J train. First down and a few yards more. Carries out to the 37-yard line. And a tight end to the right. Two flankers in that direction. The open side. McGee keeps after a fake. He's to the 40. He spins. He's out to the 44-yard line. 
This time, Thomas, the tight end, is on the left side, and Andrew Key right behind him. Now, Key goes in motion back to the right. Play action by McGee. will throw it. That's caught. That's Alexander at the 50. He's into Husker territory at the 45-yard line. Time now, 9.55, fourth quarter. Aggies 30, Huskers 14. In the shotgun, again, McGee fakes, keeps to the 40. On his back as he goes to the 36-yard line. He'll move under center and likely will keep it on a quarterback sneak. Wrong. He gave it to Goodson, and Goodson's trying to get to the 35 and think he has enough. They're going to give him the 35. Chris Alexander's the fullback. He gave it to Lane. Lane at the 35, spins to the 32. One, two, three, four Huskers on him. In the shotgun. McGee just gave it up to Lane, 25-20, closing on him at the 18-yard line. 7.38 to go in the game. The Aggies 30-14. Shotgun again, McGee. And he will keep after a fake to the 20, to the 15. Spun down and down about the 12 and a half yard line. McGee, 34 carries, 163 yards. Second down and about five. And McGee gave it to Goodson. He pops out of there after running into a traffic jam at the line of scrimmage. Got a yard to the 12. The Aggies are four out of 12 today on their third down efficiency in eye formation. And play action, throwing and a catch by Alexander for a first down at the Nebraska seven and a half yard line and then bumped out of bounds. That goes five. Alexander just caught another pass. Got Keandra Smith on one side. You got the J train on the other. Keandra just went in motion. And McGee will keep it to the five, to the four, the three. The three have 1,422 yards this year on 275 carries at game time today, and they've added to that total. Here's the second down, and McGee gives it to Alexander. He's to the one. It's the power eye. they got that flex man. Here is Javorski. Touchdown. There's number four. Four touchdowns today for Lane, and the Aggies just made it 36 to 14 with four and a half remaining. What a that? drive for AM. It, it, absolutely perfection. They eat up over seven minutes off the clock and get the touchdown. And with the extra point, they'll lead this one 37 to 14. Going for two on the extra point for Texas AM. I had here 36 to 14. And now here is McGee in the shotgun. We've got uh, two wides to the right side. And McGee now will pitch back here to Franks, and Franks will carry to the five-yard line. And the try for two is no good. And here is Zamanski. The wind at his back. They're gonna, well, they'll take the knee. Nebraska now has run 63 plays, 76 yards. The Aggies 83 and 440. They're going to throw on first down a little bit high, but it is... A catch at the 40-yard line. That was a nice catch there by Sean Hill. Second down and 10 at the 20. Drops back. He will throw. And that one's caught at the 35, trying to break a tackle at the 30. They're going to give him the 36 forward. Slot right, split into the left. Running back to the right of Keller, the quarterback. Steps up to the 30. Ran into one of his blockers as he's throwing the ball. And that went incomplete when you're down like that to keep, I mean, playing hard. It's just very difficult. Here's a screen that is lucky at the 40. Lucky at the 44-yard line. Stretches out. It's third down coming up. They will need about three. Third and three at the 44-yard line, needing the 47. Excellent play that time by Lucas Patterson. He held his ground and was able to clog it up until Mark Dodge could help him with the tackle. Harrington getting some backside pressure as they throw, and they will throw way out of bounds. That ball was intended for Peterson. That was up over his head. It's in. They're about to run their 69th play. They have 400 yards of total offense. On fourth down to throw it, and it will be a first down to the 50. It's lucky to the 46. 322 to go. It goes about nine yards to Marlon Lucky. Now this is a time in the game where the Aggies are certainly willing to give up that nine-yard gain as long as they don't, uh, they, they don't let Nebraska get a quick score. Clock working as they throw here, and it's a there's a loose ball fumble. out there. I think he fumbled That was Von the ball. Hill that hit him. And that ball is a fumble. Aggies will take possession. Von Miller. I mean, Von Miller. Just hit him, and the ball comes loose. 
Gerard Johnson's going to come in now and quarterback the team. The Aggies leading it here, 36-14 to with 3.09. Nebraska coming into the game today was a minus six. They now lost two fumbles. They're a minus eight. And it will be Johnson to keep as he fakes into the line and carries from the 49-yard. Actually, the 48 is where they, have, they marked that thing. And now to the 44. And then by a point last year, they had won four in a row. The Aggies stopped that and win for only the second time here today in Lincoln. One back in 55, the option. Johnson cuts it back to the 40-yard line. He was running left and then saw a little seam. Takes advantage of it to the 40, not a first down. It'll be a yard needed as they come back to the line. Aggies today on their third downs are six out of 14. Shotgun for Gerard Johnson. And he just faked and kept, and he's got the first down to the 20, maybe the 28-yard line. We'll see what they spot. The 29, so they... So it's a first down, Texas A&M. They have 28 of those now. Go to the right side, and maybe the line of scrimmage back to the 29. Tor- uh, Cornell Tarrant carrying that one, the freshman redshirt from Dallas Samuel. Cody Byers also in, a sophomore squadsman from Smithson Valley. Second down and nine. We've got 40 seconds to go. And the, on the keeper that time, Gerard Johnson, I had to look for the uh, football. Thought he'd given it to Cornell Tarrant. He was going back to the right. 36 to 14 is going to be the final. AM will walk away with a win and stop a four game losing streak here against Nebraska. 